Hey guys, this is Alex of Finding Wholesomeness. A lot of us make this mistake of falling into a cycle where we don't make a habit out of spending time with God on a daily basis. I mean, how much time do you spend with God on a daily basis? Just take a minute to think about it. Maybe you do a little bit at night or you go to church on Sundays or both. But we seriously do need to remember that following God is not a once a week thing. Following God is a journey that takes every breath of every day. Think about it this way. It would be really weird if you only talk to your spouse or see them once a week. Instead, what you do with your spouse is you love them and you talk to them and you see each other all the time. It's the same concept with God. Or if you want to learn how to play an instrument, you don't sit down and practice once a week. But instead, you practice daily to develop that connection to that skill when you sit down and be with God on a daily basis, it's more beneficial to you because you will begin to have that stronger connection and that stronger faith because that personal relationship is being built and it's beginning to grow. Let's say that you are constantly busy and you can't find time for this in your schedule. That's okay. I have a few suggestions. Uh, my first suggestion is I assume that you bathe, or at least I hope you do at some point, but that's a good time to spend with God if you don't think of anything else. Another good way or place to spend time with God is in the car. Obviously, don't close your eyes while you're driving, but I find it helpful to turn on a Christian radio and try to listen to what God is telling me through the words of the songs. Or you could just talk to God in the car as well. If you don't have a car and you go to places through public transportation, that's okay. If you don't feel like speaking out loud, it's okay to have a mental conversation with God where you're directing your thoughts to him and you're just having a little conversation. That's totally okay. Another way that you can make time to spend with God is if you get up a little earlier. And I know that sounds a little intimidating. You might be um, a little bit sluggish later. But it will be a good way to start off your day. Although it's more beneficial in the morning, you could also do this at night before you go to bed. If you can't find any other time. Anyway, I hope these suggestions were helpful in some way. Let me know in the comments what you do to make time for God if you are a busy person. But anyway, don't save God until Sunday. Instead, we should be with him every day. Thanks for watching. This is Alex of Finding Wholesomeness signing out. Bye.